Hey, what's up? Alan here from Damn Good Reviews. Thanks so much for tuning in. So I've been looking for a solution on PC to be able to transfer data, contacts, photos, all that fun stuff off of an iPhone. I have an iPhone, my wife has one, and you may have seen a review that I did for a Mac program and it worked great. Finding programs on the PC, which I'm PC based, um, is not always that easy. And not only is it not easy, a lot of the programs that are out there kind of look like I would never trust them to give them any of my information or pay some astronomical price for what they're asking for. So with that said, I did go on a hunt to look for where programs could really work. Now, I know you can plug it into the PC and trust it and transfer photos and videos, and I do that a lot, but um, you could do that as a folder by itself where it opens up like a drive or you could do it in iTunes. iTunes is a little bit of a pain in the you know what. So um, you have those options but the biggest thing is when I want to migrate a phone either I get a new one looking to sell it or maybe give it to a, one of the kids or something. What I want to do is I want to extract not only all the messages but also all the photos and I think you can do this from iCloud too but another thing you know iCloud it's always at the max amount of storage space. I don't want to do that anymore. Always something crazy. That's why I personally do not like Apple and Mac products because I just feel so limited. Now plenty of other people don't feel the same way. I'll just click and pay whatever and then have plenty of storage. So back to what I was originally talking about. I've been looking for a program that can allow me to do everything. Restore backups, migrate phones, photos, videos, contacts, music, all that fun stuff. Well there's a program out there for PC called Copy Trans. Now they do have individual programs that you could buy. They range for about $20 or so depending on uh, if they have promo codes, but they actually have a full suite called Copy Trans a Cloud, I believe it is, or the Copy Trans Control Center. Now if you were to buy all the different uh, software titles by themselves because they're all specific to what they do, you would spend like over uh, like 150 plus dollars, but a lot of times they run specials and you can get the whole thing for $29. Totally insane, 100% worth it. Now um, I'm not paid at all through copy trans um, they don't even have an affiliate program which a lot of times I'll be a part of affiliate program to make some extra dollars the only thing they provided to me was a license key just to be uh, transparent with you just to test this out but that's that's it so um honestly I started it up installed it installed really quick the only thing that I will say that was a little bit annoying off the bat was actually trying to figure out where to purchase it on the website so you can download it easy but then I'm like okay well where do I go to actually purchase the product once I found it then I got it all set up and then you can put it in the license code so you can see here all of the different uh, titles and you can go ahead through the copy trans control center and uh, install the different apps that you want to use now I haven't tried out these other ones because you can copy apps. Um, some of them, they do have free versions as well. So you can copy trans apps. Shelby, you can do backup and restores of your iPhone, backup extractor. So a lot of times through iTunes, you can back up your phone into a file. This will allow you to extract that or the iCloud. Really awesome, you can just open it up. Now, I, this is, a, honestly, this is a tool set that you need to have if you have an iPhone and your PC based on all your computer stuff. So looking at some of this other uh, some of these other things we have the copy trans manager for your music cloudly deletes and rescues all your photos from iCloud which personally I like to do because I feel so limited by the amount of space that iCloud gives you and then you got to keep upgrading to get more space I rather just get that off of there um, I typically have like Google Photos installed and just let it back up there. Um, you know, get free unlimited storage for your standard size photos, and then I just back up everything like once a month to a local hard drive, and then also um, save a image of that to a, another cloud software um, that just back up, backs up everything for what I have. And then once you have your license code put in, it will allow you to install all these different. Um, 
pieces of software and you can go ahead, just launch them and do whatever. So all you need to do here is um, when you set up the platform, you're gonna need to install either iTunes or you can install your Apple uh, iPhone drivers by themselves and they'll give you the option to do that and make it really easy. So I plugged in the iPhone, now it's an iPhone 7, straight forward once I had those uh, drivers plugged in, I'm not even doing anything. All it's doing is loading the contacts. Really, really simple to do. Now, what you can do here is you can go contact by contact, select which one, you can see all their information. You can export. Um, so if I go ahead and I click, say if I click all the contacts, you can export to a variety of different files, whether it's just an address book or if you're moving to another platform. Uh, tons and tons of options. You can do mail backups, you can import contacts. So if you have a new phone, that is great. Good luck trying to figure that out through iTunes or one of those places, um, or even iCloud. Next, you can look at your messages. So the messages, it's gonna load all the SMS messages that are currently in the phone. Okay, so now all the Messages have been loaded. Yes, it took a little while and sorry that they are blurred out because they are still some personal messages in there. But uh, as it's loading, it's only 76% done, but they started to um, load already. Like this one here, you can see they were just Apple verification codes, not a big deal. But once it's loaded, if I were to go and click it and hit export selected, I could select everything from PDF, web page, Word files, all these different ones. And if there was photos, like a SMS message that was attached to it, it would actually uh, create a folder that has not only the PDF of the text messages, but then a, another folder with that that has all the photos that have been either sent or received uh, tied to those, um, you know, tied to those texts. Really great way, easy way to extract everything. I did this the other day um, on another phone. It took maybe about an hour because I did have a lot, and you really don't realize how many photos are. Uh, tied to messages and that's where a lot of your space really goes. So there's that there Awesome awesome feature did exactly what I needed to then you have your calendar options So if you have calendar things that you need to export you can go ahead export all calendars or you can import calendars Notes, so if you use the Apple notes uh, Application, I don't think there are any on here. It says it's loading, but you can go ahead click the note and export it if you need to do that. And then you can also see your phone information here. Again, this is a an awesome, awesome piece of software. Even this one, I would pay 30 bucks just for this. Now, looking at some of the other ones we have here, I can show you what the platforms look like real quick. So start that one up, get your iPhone photos. So we're gonna start these up and show you what they look like. Here is one here. So this is where do you want to back up your iPhone 6s music? So I can say, hey, let's back up to iTunes or a specific folder. Um, you know, if I want to do that, your iPod does not contain any tracks or playlists. So I can't do that on there because I wasn't using that. But again, really great option. So if you do want to back up to iTunes, you can easily do that. Uh, close that out. One thing that I will say, you can have multiple version or multiple pieces of software open at the same time. Kind of makes sense. Just heads up, you'll get a notification that says close the other one out. Uh, what about the photo transfer? So I was talking about doing the photo transfer uh, from just as a folder, but this makes it also extremely easy to use and easy to do. So all you need to do here, let's see if I can move this. So it says manage your iPhone and iPad photos and videos with ease. They actually provide user guides, YouTube video, FAQ. I mean, this is awesome. And for $29, I mean, oh man, that that's like amazing, amazing deal. So you can pick your folders where you want it to go to, and then you'll get all your different, um, it's gonna load my photo library from my phone, tell me how much it's used. I can do full backups, you can do partial backups. I mean, it's awesome. You, one thing that maybe I would like to see is if you were to buy the whole version, maybe it's a single piece of software. That's not a big deal to me. But overall, it's really, really awesome. It says, hey, iCloud Photo Library is enabled on your device and, and it can affect the photo transfer functionality, things like that. You can learn more. But then you see all the different directories here. 
Now, a lot of times if you were to go just to use it as a folder option, you would only see the photos and videos. Sometimes, it, you know, the selfies are in there, live photos are there, but they're not broken down kind of like this. It's one big jumbled mess, uh, it, you know, as a just a normal folder folder um, on the PC. So this gives you a way to really go ahead and browse through it. Or like I said, you can do a full backup too. So just over, you know, overall, um, really, really amazing piece of software or pieces of software for 30 bucks. Honestly, I would go ahead and pick this up if you have an iPhone uh, or even transferring from another, you know, transferring an iPhone to something else, you need to back up photos or contacts, you can do all that. So I'm not going to log in, but if you want to do your iCloud photo library, you can go ahead and do that and log in with your Apple ID and password. And if you need to look up, you can always run your um, automatically update for new versions, send errors, purchase, activate, contact, all that fun stuff in there with your settings. But man, again, this is such an awesome, awesome suite of apps. Totally recommend, if you're gonna spend the money, you might as well just spend the 30 bucks and get the whole suite. That way you can do whatever you need for it. And it, it is supported, I don't remember how, how long you get the updates for, um, but you know, it's, it's definitely a good amount of time that it's going to keep working with, you know, other, uh, iPhone, you know, iPhone versions for a while. Um, you know, but like all software, sometimes you got to upgrade and pay, uh, either an upgrade price or for a new version of it, but for 30 bucks, it's totally worth it. Um, let's see, again, they have some free ones on their site. You can check that out just to get an idea of how it works. But this one, honestly, after looking at some of the other software that is out there i would highly recommend copy trans for copying your iphone or ipad data photos icloud photos data all that contacts uh go ahead check them out i'm alan from damn good reviews thanks so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe right here click that little bell icon to stay up to date with everything i do and we'll see you soon